for every once. Look who's up under the gardenia bush, smelling the roses. Felix, sir, it is not break time. I mean, you just out here under the fragrance of the gardenia bush. You're using a tuba foe as a pillow. Y'all, I was going to throw that box away. Then I found him in it. That box blew in from off the street. Don't even ask me why people just throw garbage out in the road. But that ain't what this video is about. So I wanted to show y'all this. Can y'all see in there? Can y'all see how the pomegranates is starting to leaf out? So I put a bag over this to make a much more humid environment. And that seems to make that leaf out so much better. I also put a bag over these that didn't have a bag. Y'all see these got more leaves than them. But I'm telling y'all that humidity is a must when you're trying to root stuff. I got to send them to somebody. I got to send the comfrey to somebody. Let me see. Is there something else I want to show y'all? Yeah, so if you get cuttings when you're trying to get them to leaf out, if at all possible, put a put a bag of some sort over them. It will aid in your stuff rooting. Let's see. What else did I want to show y'all? Something. Oh, how to collect these lettuce seeds. So, S. Gathers collected some lettuce seeds. And I had never collected any before. That mini cooper would sound like it's on its last leg. Anyway, um, but I did notice the other day when I came out here, they had all these little fuzzy things on them. So if y'all know anything about these, this, this is so that they blow away in the wind. So if you grab all those little fuzzy things and pull them, Okay, well, that worked yesterday. Okay, grab the fuzzies. He did say it worked better with two hands, but y'all can see all the little black things that come off. Those are the seeds. When you get these seeds, they don't have the fuzzy stuff. They just have the seeds. And I'm not going to pull too many of these because I actually just need to get a container. Like he said, it's better with two hands. But you can see the seeds. So when you see the fuzzy stuff, your seeds are ready. Let me see if I can grab this. There we go. See, you can just pull them out. But like I said, I'm not going to grab too many of these because I'm going to drop half of them. But I wanted to show you all that. Honeybees are back. I hadn't seen any honeybees in a while. And I actually saw flies on these uh, carrots. So if anybody ever thinks that flies aren't pollinators, they are. Gnats love to pollinate these things too. Um, but one day I'll catch the flies out here. But it's good to actually see the honeybees back a little. I haven't been seeing them at all. Um, I got a lot of stuff that's going to come out of here. This lettuce is going to come out when it's done. These are going to come out when they're done. The kohlrabi is going to come out. Oh, I wanted to show y'all my little garlic harvest. So I harvested all this garlic. Plus this head, the, the top of it broke off. But it's not the hugest garlic in the world, but really nice garlic. Um, that black cherry, baby black cherry and the um the uh peas that are intermingled in with it when i have peas on a trellis like this i probably can't see what i'm doing but you see how they're growing up and above what i try to do is just bring them back down a little bit so they'll they'll grow kind of back down you kind of have to guide them but they will basically interact with each other it doesn't matter um they're still gonna make peas regardless but i try to keep them from 
growing out of the cage too much and then intertwining with each other. That's what I try to do. These radishes are gonna come out. The radishes on the other side are gonna come out. I need to um, pick comfrey. My um, piggy peas are the first ones that are showing me flowers, at least flowers that I saw. There's another one. There's a lot of them in here. I'm just, there you go. Look down in there. And you can see right here, here. This just fell off. Um, I don't know if they got pollinated or not. Um, that one just came off. But yeah, so the piggy peas is making pigs. So soon we'll be able to see what's up with that. These are Everglades. I did uh, only had one female this morning and pollinated that. I do want to mention something. I have drip in these beds, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you what happens. When you turn it on, It the first beds closest to the hose get more water than these down here. So you have to turn those off. Well, what I want to do is, is the bed, each pair of beds, I want to put a little switch where I can turn them off. So I can turn off the front, like I can turn off all of them except for this one. And then I can turn this one off, turn this on. Turn, you know, turn each one off, on and off, so that I know each bed is getting water. Because the first time I did this, those were getting water up here, but these weren't. Not really, they weren't getting nearly as enough. So, um, I wanted to put a, an end to that as a carrot. I've been picking off these carrots, like, slowly but surely um, just kind of here and there they aren't the biggest carrots in the world but they're okay they'll eat you gotta come out this one had seeds on it but oh well I'm not gonna let all of these go to seed um, so I guess today I'll have a small carrot harvest. Now I will say this, if I had to thin these, would they have grown a little bit bigger? Yeah, probably. Um, and the only reason I say that, well, if I leave them in here longer, they would have got bigger because they really not all on top of each other. But um, like I said, if y'all haven't seen Web Cajun's video, he never thinned. But I will say this, Web Cajun used to use, I'm sure triple 20 or whatever he used to use. That contributed to some of the size of his carrots, but they were huge. And he never thinned. I'm talking about his in-ground bed, not the raised bed he did later uh, in his channel. But um, these are giving up the ghost on me. That's why you see a lot of leaves looking like that. Those are older leaves too. And probably what I'm gonna do is just, ain't no probably, I'm just gonna break them off. Cause they're pointless at this point. But yeah, all that's gonna be fertilizer, so I'll pick all those up. This is just kind of what I do when I go through here. Y'all see these in here. Those are looking pretty. Got some more right here. And um, some up there. Y'all know me. I don't really, I don't sucker anything. I haven't taken any suckers off. I haven't taken any, any of that stuff off. This stuff has blooms. I think this one took, it did. See the tiny tomato there? That one took, it's continuing to bloom. Here's another one down in here. There's another one on the other side. Actually, look at that. There's a whole little cluster there. And some still blooming on the end. So, still stuff to find. These radishes are gonna come out very, very, very soon. Matter of fact, they're probably going to come out today. 
um, and I'm gonna let those dry. And then that bed, I've got some peppers over here. Felix, your yada your Amazon box, advertising for Amazon. Bezos don't need no more advertisement. But anyway, um, I got these peppers, which are looking great. And these were just grocery store pepper seeds. I can't remember what they are. I don't know if they're poblanos or what. I can't remember what they are. But I just took them. And I'm going to show y'all my new germination. The way I germinate peppers. And they seem to do better that way. These were all the other ones. So there's God knows how many peppers in there. Those are going to get separated out. I'm not, I'm not keeping all those. I intend to do a plant sale. That's my intention. Um, to get rid of some stuff and make a couple of bucks. Um, the eggplant. Now look at the eggplant. That, this is an eggplant. This is though. I didn't realize this garlic was in here. All of my garlic's giving up the ghost. So I might as well pull it. There's another garlic in here. No, it's not. It's just the top. Okay. Yeah, I got some onions in here, too. Got some multiplier onions down in there. But look at these eggplants, though. Look at the leaves. Um, I got some okra that finally decided to germinate. I don't know what that's about. Mm. The top of that garlic just snapped off. When that stuff happens like that, it is what it is. I don't even care. I'll let it come up next year. It's usually so small, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, these are uh, rat tail, rat, the rat tails over there, these are the dragon tails. All of them gotta come out, make way for something else. All these kind of browning leaves, I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna harvest a bunch of kale and probably give it away. Um, might sell it, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, let's see. What else? That leaf's all folded down. I was almost trying to see if I was going to see any uh, tomatoes in here. I don't see any thus far. They could be hiding from me, though. I see a lot of blooms. There's a lot of, a lot of blooms. But, yeah. Everything's so tall out here. Piggy peas trying to outgrow the uh they're trying to outgrow what they're supposed to be. I want them to wrap around. So that's what I'm gonna try to get them to do. This tomato isn't making any blooms yet. It's a weird place. It's like a weird sucker branch. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's them. They're coming in. I'm going to tie that to that pole better. And I'm going to tie this back to this pole so it doesn't come out as far. But, um, on the watermelon front, um, wait. There are watermelons. Kind of all through here. So, I don't know if y'all can see that one. I think there's a slug on the bottom of that one. It's slimy in there. That was gross. Oh. I can see those two, three, four. Four all nested together. There's five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and that's not even counting the ones over there. Not saying, I think I'm at it like 11, 11 or 12, 13, 14, 15.
That's going to be 60. Seventeen. Mm, this one didn't make it. See how that one did. So I'm gonna take that off so it doesn't waste energy on that. Feed your, feed your friends. But yeah, I ain't gonna cry over that one melon. I don't know if I had showed y'all this or not. Patty pan. So when P. Smith. Penny sent me these seeds. She told me they were patty pans. So I'm glad to see that was a patty pan. And then, um, I mean, I was happy to have the seeds regardless. There's a nice zucchini there. There's another one getting ready to open up a female. I got a lot of males. I got a lot of males today. I might cook those male blossoms. You look in here. This is a ginormous one. And then if you look, there's one. There's another one. And there are more females coming on. The plants look amazing. Um, she told me hers didn't have much pest problem. I don't want to jinx myself. I'm just going to tell you what she told me. Y'all look at them and tell me. Y'all see any pests? I am freaking shocked so far. But I'm... I'm going to stay on it because I can't with them freaking squash bugs. Look at that gooseberries. Once again, my eggplants. Y'all notice I skipped over my amaranth that was all ate up. I will say this, y'all. If you're growing eggplants or something, grow some amaranth. It'll keep the flea beetles off of them. That's for sure. Because my amaranth is ate all the way down. Um, I got some seeds left, but I'm not going to replant amaranth. I would rather have uh, Jamaican sorrel. I would rather have that. I hope it's not going to bite me in the butt. But I'm going to start my, I should have been starting my Jamaican sorrel seeds, but it's hot enough and it grows fast enough. I think I'm going to plant it in the spot where the amaranth is. Um, but what I, what I am going to do is. is harvest me some blueberries every day i come over here and harvest blueberries see i'm envious of j3gs farms now because he got all them bushes and he won't give a sister not now bush like j3gs farms can you send me like four bushes not cuttings i want the whole bush now i'm greedy like that the whole bush <laughs> But, mm, mm, mm. Ooh, I'm telling you, blueberries out the store is garbage. Straight garbage. These ones you grow is so much better. Them ones in the store don't have no taste. They taste like slightly sweet water. But, can y'all see? Is my shot in the way? Y'all see, I got a couple of. Blackberries act like they're ready. When you get blackberries, I'm telling you now, you almost want them to fall apart in your hand. These these probably gonna be a little tart on me, but you almost want them to fall apart in your hand when you go to pick them, and they should come off the bush with no resistance at all. Those are okay, they're still a little tart though. I'm going to speed it up. I'm at 20 minutes. And I'm sweating. But, um. Yeah, your, your blackberries. Wait till they get all the way ripe. If you want them to taste the best. But I'm just greedy and can't wait. I'm always eating them like a day or two early. Um. I got a lot of poke salad. I think I'm going to show y'all how to cook that. Oh. So, y'all know this is my new look. Don't mind these buckets, y'all. I just got all this in the ground a day or two ago. Maybe maybe three days ago. Then it rained and stuff. And, but, y'all see I got my steaks. I ain't got them tied to the steaks yet. And I wanted to share this. I don't know if I said it in a previous video or not, but look at that. I already got a ground cherry. And this other flowers on here. 
This is my other little grand chair. Still doing good. But I'm excited about that. Um, I'm going to plant some other stuff in there with those tree collards. I may have cuttings sooner than I think on some of them. Some of them branched off pretty good. See, when you got a plant that'll branch for you like that, you can get some pretty good cuttings. You know, you want a couple of nodes and stuff on there so that when people try to root them and have a couple of plates for the roots to grow out. These are the bananas. They're looking good still. Um, just been feeding them all kind of compost and scraps and food scraps, stuff like that. These are um, the tomatoes I think I showed y'all before. They're growing exponentially. And there is turmeric in there. I'm going to fill these up. My turmeric is going in those big containers. Then I think I got one more I'm going to put ginger in. Um, down here, I got a couple of two or three tomatoes in there. I got two peppers in there. I know you can't tell it with all the weeds, but they just came up. And those are leeks. I got a place for those. I just have not planted them as of yet. Um... Y'all know this is my little seedling area. I need to water this stuff. Um, but it's not it's it's doing okay. We got a little rain yesterday. But um that's jicama from Dan's Permaculture. That's pigeon peas from Dan's Permaculture. Those two are different types of guava, those two blue. This is moringa. Uh Chuck Weezy sent me that. And that's uh Humble Servants Homestead sent me those uh those um scotch bonnet peppers that are doing good let me show y'all once i put the top down on these i'm gonna be honest if you want to germinate peppers that's probably the best way to germinate them put them in something to where you can shut the top down and it makes like a mini greenhouse don't worry about all this other stuff that's purslane um but all of these are scotch bonnets one two three four five six i forget how many seeds i planted i planted about half the seeds they sent me um, but the vast majority of them came up. I'll be honest. I think some of the seeds just didn't come up. I, I put them in the soil. It was still too cold outside. They, they really probably didn't germinate. And some of them probably rotted. That's my fault. Um, but you see, even with my mishap, the seeds still came up. So, you know, you don't have to be flawless in the garden. You just have to be persistent. Y'all see the potatoes and stuff doing good. Uh, pepper grass didn't do too good. Pepper grass wants full sun. I know that from now on. Because I don't even think that's going to go to seed for me. So I think I'm going to have to start over and buy seeds again. Um, we'll go back here to uh, my little herb thingy. And I got a bunch of stuff that germinated. Like I said, I don't remember what I planted where. I know that's basil. Anybody knows basil? I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. I got some more stuff germinating right there. I don't know what that is. But um, I planted a bunch of stuff in there. And it looked like a bunch of it's either not going to germinate or it's going to take forever to germinate or whatever. Whatever. You know, wins and losses. Take the good with the bad. Um, let me see. What else, y'all? I've been using my worm tea on my little stuff back here. That's my air potatoes, y'all. So you see what I mean? If you give these things something to climb, they will climb it. Um... They haven't started making the aerial potatoes yet. But if you give them something to climb, they will climb. Um, I've been giving uh, worm tea to this stuff back here. Them eggplants, look how big they are compared to the other eggplants I showed y'all. I don't know if it's the worm tea, the location. They actually get less sun back here, guys. And they say eggplants love, love, love the sun. And this is my shade gardens. And they get less sun back here, but man, are they doing better um, than some of the ones at the front. Uh, these are going to seed on me. I can't remember if this was sprouting broccoli or what. I'm thinking that's what it was, was sprouting broccoli. But I don't care. I'm going to let that go to seed. I'm gonna, it's going to come out. I want to try some peppers over here to see how they do. Um, but the last little thing I want to show y'all, uh, you know, um, First of all, I'm gonna walk through here to show y'all. My fig trees are loving. They're loving their new spot. I don't remember my fig trees. 
ever having this many fish on them. I mean, like, each little spot. It's just like all these figs on every freaking branch. And I want to say this. These LSU Golds came from Nature 9 and the family. My Miss Figgy, I killed it. I won't even lie. It was my fault. He sent me cuttings. Um, I tried one in water, one in dirt. And I'd be doggone it. The one in water was taken. And I didn't pay attention. And my cats knocked it over. And it dried out and died. And my other one in dirt did not take. Um, and I, like I said, now that I know the thing about the humidity thing, I know what to do with cuttings now to be much more successful. But I just want to say thank you to Nature 9 and the family. I still have them LSU gold. And you can see all that is one year's growth. I guess like two inches between all of them. And they are growing like mad. So, yeah, those are cuttings that he sent me. So, if y'all don't watch Nature 9 and the family, go check out his channel. Go check out S. Gathers, too. S. Gathers need 15 people to get to 1,000. Get my boy to 1,000 because um, he be giving out that, that good info. He be giving out so much info on his channel. His channel is overlooked and underrated. And his, you know, y'all should be over there watching S. Gathers. I'm going to put both of their channel links down in the description um for y'all so y'all can go over there and support them brothers they they some they some bad bad people i'm trying to get like nature nine and give me some land like he got he looked like he done went bought him 25 acres all he need is a mule um i'll come audition to be the mule if you anyway that's, <laughs> that's beside the point um Y'all have been using worm tea on these citrus, and um, they're still doing fine. The leaves aren't as dark. This is the new growth. Um, um, I'm going to be honest and tell you, I think right now, because we're in spring and we kind of in this rainy season, this is getting a bit more water than it would actually like. Y'all remember I told y'all citrus don't like a ton of water. When your citrus starts yellowing up on you, um, back off on your water and see if that changes anything. A lot of times people are killing citrus thinking they need a ton of water. They don't. Um, if you pay attention to where they grow naturally, very, they grow easily naturally. Cali and Florida, like I told y'all before, Southern California, it don't rain like that there. They get a little rain. It's the reason why Tony, Tony, Tony made that song. If you don't know what song I'm talking about, look it up. Um... And as far as Florida, they have really sandy soil, so their soils don't hold moisture really well. That's why you find growers that grow in Florida, the main thing they focus on is really building the soil and putting a lot of organic matter in the soil because their soils just don't hold water. So therefore, by the soil not holding water, the citrus is not getting a ton of water because all the water is just washing off or, you know, just dissipating, basically. Um, it's not sticking around. I, this is sandy loam, but, you know, it's, it, we've been getting a lot of rain. Um, so once that stops, I think the color will come back on that. But this one, y'all know, this was my one that was, you know, almost died because of the ice. And when I tell you, it's freaking loving it. Like all of this, all these branches are over two feet. That one's like a foot. This one's like two. Um, if I come over here, this one's like two feet. Um, a lot of that is dead in the top, but I'm going to let it do what it wants to do because I've done a scratch test probably like up to here and it was still green. So I'm going to let it do what it wants for right now before I start just cutting and lopping off stuff. I'm going to let it tell me where it wants to die to and then I'll start cutting stuff off. And yes, some of those branches are kind of low. Um, it is what it is. I'm going to take what I can get if I have to support the branches or later cut them, whatever. But right now. I just want this tree to recoup, but y'all remember how it looked after the ice? It dropped all the leaves. It looked completely dead, and this is why I tell people to wait on their trees. I did not start seeing any growth on this tree until almost a month and a half, two months after I uncovered this tree. And people would throw their trees away thinking that they dead and they not. If you're doing a scratch test up, up top and it's green... Come back a week later, do it a little lower. Come back another week, do it a little lower. If you keep seeing green, 
unless you you not seeing green and it's damn near to the ground or it's below the graft line okay you can cancel it your root stock is alive but the top ain't and the top is what the fruit that you want the root stock is really just the root stock a lot of times it'll grow fruit but it'll just grow like like a lot of times they grab these oranges these citruses they graft them onto what's called a sour apple with a, a sour orange and it's usually I mean, like I said, it'll make fruit. It's a thorny orange that makes fruit, but the fruit is super, super sour, which is actually good because you can make lemonade out of it and stuff like that. Um, other Caribbean nations uh, do that. They have sour oranges, and that's why you notice they have a, a denotation. They'll say a sweet orange or a sour orange. And the sour oranges make good lemonades, limeades, you know, stuff, drinks like that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to really show y'all. Um, this tree got a peach on it. Got four peaches on it. Here's one. I don't have a lot of peaches this year. Um, I'm just ready. I think the peaches are going to be behind time as to when they get ripe because it's getting close to being peach season and they're not ripe. I saw um, back to our roots homestead, they were harvesting their peaches. Mine are behind because of this ice. But here's a pear here. That's a pretty nice one. I think this tree has two. My big tree, it uh went on and did me a favor. It heard me talking trash about it. I'm going to show you how this. I'm going to get out of here. Ooh, 30 minutes. Good Lord. I said I was going to speed up. Jesus. But y'all know I was over here talking trash. Talking about how it wasn't going to really give me no fruit this year because I had all that fruit last year. Well, there's one. And I saw, I saw those three. Can y'all see those three? One, two, three. I saw those. But then I came over here and I saw, where's the other one? I saw one somewhere. The sun's in my eyes, y'all. I can't see. I saw another one somewhere, but it's, it's some up here. It's some up there somewhere. But it actually has about 10 of them on here. It's hard to tell when you got all these leaves and stuff. But, and there's there's some way up there, like one or two. I think I'm gonna let the squirrels get them. I'm not even gonna worry about them. But, you know, I'll take these few little, little, uh, little meals I get. And a little poke salad, little, that's big. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see a poke salad. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care if y'all tell me. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. But those are my pineapples. They're looking all right. But I'm going to let y'all go. Till next time. See you guys later.